fanfare one time. You only get one time on the fanfare today. We talk about the horn positions on that. Okay, guys, you have one time. One time for pregame. One time for pregame. We're going to talk about the, setting the, the, the diagonals, and we're going to fix the, the, the diagonals and talk about how those work and practice that one time. Here we go. Thursday will be my first college football game, yeah. And what's that going to be like, you think? Um, stressful, to say the least. It'll definitely be like a really good experience to at least get like the first game nerves out of the way. This band is a family, so it's, it's not really like you have to worry about yourself personally, because you do, but you also have a family of people around you to support you. This is really the first time that um, you know, UConn Nation will see the UConn marching band and watching everyone, especially the new students to stores, look over and say, wow, that's, that's a band, um, is my favorite thing to do. And kind of watching um, the new members get used to the way that the band does football games, which is entirely different than any high school would ever do it. If you were traveling in Pep Band and wore a Schachter pin and still have it, please bring it with you on Thursday. We'd like to put an Alex pin on every trombone player and all the drum majors, right? That would be just a cool touch. So if you have a Schachter pin, please return Alex Schachter was one of the students who was killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting on Valentine's Day of last year. He was 14 at the time and played trombone in his high school's marching band. He loved Yukon. Um, his mom had gone to Yukon. I believe one of his cousins had as well. There's a lot of photos of him wearing a Yukon sweatshirt to high school. The university decided to admit him posthumously as a music major to the School of Fine Arts. An article came out on Yukon Today about that and a few of us saw that and kind of immediately jumped into action saying, well, if the university is going to accept him, so are we. So we essentially decided to claim him as a member of the future UCMB and treat it as if we'd lost a member. Um, so the trombone section ended up keeping a seat open in rehearsal. We had pins that went out with all of our traveling pep bands, as well as really educating every member of the band on what that means to have lost a member. I'm lucky that we haven't while we've been here, and I'm so, so grateful that um, I've made the connections that I had, but you know, he'll never be able to make those connections with the people in this band. I'm really glad that the band kind of joined together to be able to respect that and also say, you know, no, this is personal, this is ours, um, and he is ours too. When we go out there on Thursday night, we're not practicing anymore. Now it's about you being the you in UCMB. They talk about it's just, it's just stupid, but you are it. You are it. It's your personal carriage, your strength out there projecting into that audience that's going to make the difference. This is the hell of a show. But if it's delivered, if it's delivered without that extra something. That, that the presence of over 300 people generates. Saxes, trombones, baritones, tubas, go straight down the ramp, take the first right to our section. We have more than enough. We made some more last night. They look really nice. We are the embodiment of Husky spirit. We represent the spirit of our university and we're going to bring it and we're going to help that situation. We're going to do everything we can to make that situation the best it possibly can be.
Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Oh, it was awesome. I've never marched in a crowd this big, and it's just, it just made everything so much more intense. Preseason really got us ready, but it was, like, of course, it was pretty, um, it was nerve-wracking. But I think we did a pretty good job, so. You see this field on TV all the time. Um, you know the history of the band and of uh, just UConn in general, so it was a cool experience to step on the field for the first time. Being, being in front of thousands of people for the first time like that, it's, it's really exhilarating. It's, like, it's, it's really hard to describe. It's so wonderful to be here with you all. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, you know, even though you're so far away from Florida, you know, a week after this horrible tragedy, uh, I got the letter from UConn admitting Alex into the school and it just lit up my life and it proved to me that there is good in this world. And I look at all of you and you guys can make a difference. Each one of you, when I see you perform today, I'll be seeing Alex in every one of you. And each one of you can go out tomorrow and do something good to help someone that is down, depressed, and show kindness. I know that's who you are. You guys are successful. You guys are gonna be amazing. And you're so lucky to be here to be with this band director and to be in this program. This is an amazing program and I'm so happy to be here. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you're doing and everything that you're going to do. Just know that Alex is with you. He's, he's not here in body, but he is here in spirit. This is Alex's sweatshirt that he wore every day. And um, you know, I haven't worn it since uh, since he passed away and I want to wear it today. I, I love it and um, you know I'm gonna be on the field uh, you know watching all these kids perform but I'm gonna be I'm gonna see Alex and every one of them. is when we get uh, the Choco Tacos uh, in the third quarter, right? Third yeah. quarter. Yeah. Um, so like the drum, drum line plays this thing, and we all yell, Choco Tacos, and then the whole band gets Choco Tacos. It's my favorite tradition. That is by far my favorite game day experience. The drum line hits a roll off, and we end up going into a Choco Taco dance that ends with everybody leaning back to back and screaming out Choco Tacos, which is outrageous but um, really a fun and kind of gets everybody back into the into the stands mood at the end of the halftime show. because a lot of our parents and families and friends and tons of alumni come out and like you'd, you'd be surprised how many times people are like I come for the band um, to have that support in the stands and also for our post game performance to have that support from all over decades from people who marched years and years ago um, that's really really special to have that support day in and day out I think this year's show 
is again a step up. I think we're loud this year, and then the, I hope the audience they're shocked. I hope they realize that we're here to bring another level to the football games and have people notice us this year.